if you have a dog who struggles to listen to your commands, obey the rules of your household, and just doesn't respond to your nagging, it's almost like he can't hear the words that are coming out of your mouth, then I'd like you to meet somebody. This is the back of my dog's head. Tucker, scoot around so they can see your pretty face. So they can see your pretty face. There he is. This is Tucker, and he has a little bit of what I'd like to call a listening to rules problem. He thinks the rules are all his own to make up. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a quick little game that you can start to play that starts to teach your dog how to obey the rules of your house and learn to serve you so that you don't always have to nag, scold, or yell at him all the time. Okay, so here's how this game works. The whole goal of this game is to teach this dog how to do what I want it to do without me having to constantly beg it and tell it what to do and scold it and punish it for not doing the right things, okay? So watch how this works. First, the name of the game is I'm gonna get this dog to go on the bed, but he doesn't know that that's what I'm asking. So that's what we're gonna have him figure out today. So watch this, watch how this works. Tucker, get this piece of cheese, gets him off the bed. I'm sending telepathic signals right here. He touches the bag, bed, I give him a click, I let him eat a piece of cheese. A bigger piece of cheese, there you go. And I sit here, I send more telepathic signals, and when he touches the bed with his paw, which he doesn't know how to do yet, he almost touched it. Apparently my telepathic ability isn't good enough. But you can see the dog here is trying to figure out what I want, oh, there you go, what I want him to do. Me not yelling at him, but him figuring out what I want to do. That's why, there you go. That's what we're trying to do. Get the dog to start working for us instead of us always nagging the dog all the time. Nobody likes to be nagged. Good. And as he does it more and more, we'll get more and more pieces of cheese ready and give him bigger rewards. So if he does it quickly, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. He got all four of his paws on there. Here's some more, here's some more. I'll give him a little bit extra. Give him his last one off so he leaves the bed so we can do it again. We're a little further away and does he understand? Boom. There he is going to the bed. You could obviously tell in the beginning he had no idea what he was supposed to do. I haven't told him anything. We're now six feet away from the bed. Oh, he saw a piece of cheese he forgot earlier. Let's see if that distracts him. Good boy, good boy. And there he is, learning how to go to his bed. I don't know how long that video was. I'm gonna, there's no watch there, but probably a video counter on the video screen that'll tell you that within just a matter of minutes, I taught this dog how to actually start listening, not really listening, but how to start working for what I want without having me to harass and, and nag all the time. And it's a much better way for the dog to learn how to do what you, want, what you want him to do and how to obey the rules of your household and just be a better dog. Stop nagging, start training like this. Now obviously this isn't the only thing you need to do to be able to get your dog to actually start to listen to you and obey the rules of your household without you having to nag or scold or yell all the time. So what we've done is we've put together a free training class that you can attend that shows you a bunch more tricks and hacks for how to get your dog to listen and obey in lots of other situations. It's totally free. All you gotta do is click the link below this video, above this video, to the side of this video. It's somewhere next to this video. Come check out that class and start to learn the other tricks that it takes to really have a well-behaved dog. So go ahead and do that now and I will see you in some of those new trainings.